Hi, I'm Arnica, owner of Arnica Spring Photography here in beautiful Bozeman, Montana. In May of 2019, we built a brand new studio and I want to welcome you to it personally. I want to show you around, give you a lay of the land and let you guys get a feel for who I am, how I shoot and what I can do for you. I've been a photographer for almost 14 years now, and many of those years were spent in my home studio both in Bozeman, Montana and Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I was beyond thrilled when I finally had the opportunity to create a studio space specifically designed for the type of portraiture that I personally do. Obviously, light was first and foremost in my mind, but what I offer my clients is not just a quick photo, but a full portrait experience, and I wanted a space that lends itself to that. When we welcome you into the studio, we offer you champagne or sparkling water, we bring you in and do full hair and makeup with my professional makeup artist, we style your wardrobe with three to four outfit changes, and we create your portraits. Whether you come in as a single woman or you bring your family for a beautiful generation's portrait, my aim is to create an experience and images for you and your loved ones to enjoy for years to come. So when you first come into the studio, you'll see my desk. And this is obviously where I spend most of my time when I'm not actually photographing. I'm either emailing or editing or building client relationships, marketing, all of the normal day-to-day -day business stuff. But two weeks after your photo shoot, you'll be invited back to the studio to actually view your final images. And when you come back, your images will be totally edited and ready to be taken home with you that day, which is super cool. So depending on your preference of final images, we either do a digital reveal on the big screen TV or we do a printed reveal with actual prints on the wall. Let me show you this. So what you see on the wall right now is just a brief selection from my portfolio. But when you actually come back to see your images, it'll be your photos that are printed and up on the wall. It's my favorite part of the whole shoot. And whenever somebody comes into the studio, they always stop and spend five to 10 minutes looking at the images on the wall. And so it's such a great conversation time for me and my clients. This is where we do all the stuff in the front of the house. But let me take you to the back where the magic actually happens. So over here on the left, we have our makeup station. Hair and makeup is obviously a huge part of what we do to prepare you to have your portraits taken. My makeup artists always bring all of their supplies in with them when they come. So we created this space that has tons of outlets, lots of counter space. We wanted to be able to plug everything in, all of the phones, flat irons, curling irons, blow dryers, laptops, all the stuff that people bring in. And we also wanted to have lots of room to spread out all of the stuff. I really, really wanted to have that old glamorous, old Hollywood feel to it. So we have this super beautiful, the bare bulb lit mirror, which makes the most amazing makeup light. I love it. So in addition to being a wife and a photographer, I'm also the mama of a little boy. And something that is very important to me as a mother that does work is being able to bring my son with me. So when I created the studio, one of my top priorities was having a room for my son to be able to come and be with me during the day when I'm not actually shooting. We have a lot of his toys and his pack and play here so he can nap and hang out and just have a nice time. And if you look through the cabinets, we obviously have lots of little boy snacks too. Um, this is a very kid-friendly environment, so we want you to feel free and welcome to bring your children with you, either for photographs or just to stop in. And my son is here with me most of the time, so if you ever swing by, you'll probably get to meet him. Most of my natural light setups are staged around my big beautiful window here. Now this is not a garage, but in a minute I'll show you that this large window is actually a garage door that just has the glass panels built into it. I built the scrim to fit on the inside of the window, both for privacy because there is a parking lot out the back, and it just gives us the most beautiful natural soft light. And the cool thing is about that is during a shoot, I'll often remove the scrim and I can create a whole new look using the garage door, or I can open the garage door and actually shoot into the studio, which creates an entirely different look with the lighting depending on what we're trying to achieve. 
The other great thing with this building is that because it's a brand new space and it's fairly modern looking on the outside, it has all sorts of opportunities for us to be able to create a shoot outside in a more industrial style environment. And in addition, if we wanna get some beautiful outdoor portraits, we are right at the foot of the mountains in Bozeman and we've got a large grass field with a river running right behind the studio. So we really have access to um, just so many different opportunities here in terms of any kind of portrait that we might really wanna create for you. I consider my boudoir photography to be a fairly more modern beauty style of images that are not necessarily bedroom focused. However, having the use of a bed does allow us to get some really beautiful laying down images and all of those gorgeous white sheet images that all of my clients love. Now, I know that when you first walk into the studio, it looks a little bit bare when you think of boudoir photography, no pun intended, but it's something that I shoot a lot of. However, with this cool bed that you just saw set up, it's called a bed in a box. It allows me to transform this space and have it put up when I don't need it. It takes a few minutes and voila, we have a beautiful, luxurious bedroom to shoot your boudoir photography on. So as you can see from what we just did, we're outside now. I've created this really beautiful soft box that changes the light. We've got a backdrop in the inside so now I can shoot you. Generally we do not do this when it's 10 degrees below zero in the middle of January in Montana. However, on a beautiful summer day, we utilize this setup all the time. You can also see that right here there is the corrugated tin on the building and like I said that that does lend itself to having that more industrial feel for some outdoor portraits. So last but not least, I want to talk to you about the most important thing, and that is, of course, what are you going to wear for your photo shoot? Now, while I do a pre-shoot consult for every one of my clients, and we go over in depth on what I want you to bring and what you might have in your current wardrobe that you'd like to be photographed in, every woman I have ever talked to says, I have nothing to wear, of course. Thankfully, being in the business that I'm in and being a person that enjoys shopping, I have such an amazing collection of items from my wardrobe for you to choose from for your portrait session. And honestly, what's more fun than going into your girlfriend's closet and borrowing a few items? So just think of this as your girlfriend's closet. So we have everything from glamorous, sparkling dresses, her boudoir shoots. We have um, a whole selection of really beautiful lingerie pieces and we've got those that fit every body type, every size. So when you come in, if you don't have any lingerie to wear for your shoot, or maybe you're planning on doing just a glamour shoot, but you might wanna do one that's a little bit sexier, we have got stuff that fits every size, every age, every body type. And we've got really cool um, Western chaps if you wanna do some something a little more Western and you might not personally own these. We also have, I have some vintage pieces that are really beautiful. The fun thing is, is that most of the time when my clients come in, they'll look through my portfolio images and they'll see something that they really love and a lot of the time I can say, oh, I have that. So you get to wear it for your photo shoot, which is really neat. So when you come in, it's just kind of a fun time for us to be able to go through all of the clothes, try stuff on, see what you love. The cool thing about photography is that it doesn't necessarily have to fit in order for you to be photographed in it. So it's okay if the zipper doesn't zip up in the back or if it's too big, we can just pin it. It's a really fun time and I have tons of stuff and so not having anything to wear is never anything that you have to worry about for your photo shoot. So that is an overview of my studio. I hope that this gives you a better idea of the creative process and what it looks like and feels like to join me on a photo shoot for a day. I really look forward to having you in my studio soon and creating beautiful images for you.